All right, what's popping? What's good? We are getting back into this. I still don't know if I'm going to make certain story quests all one video long or put them into parts. I'll probably just make them all one video long. What is that? I see something on the map. Hold on. What is that? I'm probably going to cut this part out, but I'm just here. I did not mean to do that. Is this a chest? This is a chest. What's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. No. Ah, okay. So I can't get up like that. Oh, here we go. interesting okay so i can find those things anywhere all right or find them on the map at the very least so that's good Aw. all right let's get that food that we were promised mrs panwa good morning three bowls of extra spicy noodles please Oh, this is just a still? Okay. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. This is considered morning time? What do you say, Rover? I haven't had my first bite yet. It was way too spicy. Well, I love it. Just the way I like Looks it. Looks like Bijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her until she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance. What? And with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Bijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, just laugh at that. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was going to make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? All right. Look into the mangosteen first. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's the first option. As for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. We might find some clues there. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Should we start from the harbor? Sure, let's leave the city. Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? Probably. Um, let's see. Oh, auto, auto play. Stop auto play. All right, tell them about the dream you had. An ocean of stars. A dark-haired girl. Yep. Converted etheric sea. And the resonance cord flowing from your tacit mark. And you said it was flowing in a certain direction. Pointing to the gorges of spirits and the Norfolk barons. Hmm. You've never mentioned this before. Well, I couldn't find the right moment. The etheric sea and resonance cords in your dreams are real. Possibly leading to the gorges of spirits and Norfolk barons. Perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me your dream points toward the Norfolk Barons. It's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. The Midnight Ranger's frontline space is stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? All right. She went the other way around. Without a doubt. All right. Uh, new function: events unlock. Participate in various activities on the land of Solaris to so earn rewards. Okay, I've done that already. So I switched the team up. Um, I have everyone at least to level ten. Um, 
I switched the team up because I didn't, I don't know, it didn't make sense to have two sword users. Um, unless the story calls for it, I'll go ahead and do two sword users. But at this time, it didn't. We resonators can boost our combat abilities with special items. Our echoes can use them too, if you feel like it. Head to Instructor Yan at the training camp for extra practice and to get these enhancement items. I can do that. Increase your resonator to overcome the overwhelming challenges. What's that? Select Yang Yang. Oh, I've already done that though. I've, I've done that. I don't want to use anymore. Yeah. Done that already. I know. Yeah. I was messing with. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, I got more of those things because I did actually go out and fight a little. Yang Yang? Did you hear that? No, I didn't. I, is that someone crying and wailing? That should be the Midnight Ranges training camp. Let's not worry about it, Shizia. Instructor Yan is in charge of training new recruits. I heard he's pretty tough, but I think Rover can handle anything he throws at her. Who are you talking to now? You're ready to leave the city, arrive at the gate, optional. Learn about the simulation resonance potion. The what? Is that this over here? Any new guy care to do some sparring? Sure. I'll try it. I'll come back and do this after when I'm after I'm done playing for the day. Defense at the city gate has been strengthened. Oh, we all leveled. Nice. It wasn't like this when we came back. Echoing March. Chapter two. Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. What the heck is that? <clears throat> what is your business, young lady? It's my third shift, and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please. I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may, I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen, nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Yeah, the monk is coming with us. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Hit him with the please. 
Well, it says you have the highest level of access, so no procedural issues here. Honestly, she could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass, and no one would question it. Master Jingjin? Who's that? Sure. Oh, that's her. <laughs> Trash. She explained why she wanted to leave the city, so she told you about the person that she's looking for. So, you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm hmm. Exactly. Okay. Alright, so what's your relationship with the person that you're looking for? His name is Ji Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own, but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Jianxing. Jianxing, okay. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinzhou. Alright. Why is it so important for you to find him? Mr. Zhongya seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Zhongya has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. That makes He'd sense. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. <sighs> I'm really worried about him. All right. Do you know anything about the uh, mango scene? This mango scene? It's got some fresh looking leaves, soft springy skin, and eight fleshy segments fully ripened inside. It looks like a nice fruit. How do you know that? Oh, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. There's a bruise at the bottom. If you don't eat that part soon, it'll spoil. Oh. Huh. Where are you from? I grew up in my sect on a mountain. Spent most of my time training with my masters. One day, I was told training in seclusion was not enough. I must engage with the world to further my skills. So I started my self-cultivating journey. I've been to various cities and gained valuable lessons, but there is still so much more to learn. Gotcha, gotcha. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Desert Rock Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Alright. Well, that's where we're headed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Please keep us safe. No, I'm good. Yeah, that's where we're headed to. Of course. Well, that was an unnatural response, in my opinion. That's where we're headed to, of course. But all right, well, whatever. I was trying to um. There's a photo mode in this, and I was trying to get a. Uh, I was trying to make an outro screen, uh, for the game. However, when you do this, you can't get rid of the HUD. Like I tried, you know, I tried to get something really cool, setting out maybe something like that or whatever. But you can't get rid of the out or you can't get rid of the HUD in this, which sucks. Um So yeah, if the developers are ever watching, I highly doubt they ever will see this because I only get like if it's not that only a kingdom game, I get probably four views max now. <laughs> um But yeah, if the developers ever if they ever stumble across this guys Make a, uh, what's it called for us? I don't know why I expected something to be up here. That is so convenient that you can just... So convenient that you can just run up walls. Is that a dog? No, it's a cat. I, I don't know animals, apparently. Hey, bud, I'm looking for someone. You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. Yang showed the Midnight Rangers badge and the thing A to him. A missing person. Ju Yan. 
The one you're looking for, is he an average person? Probably, he's an NPC. Resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? No. Is he all right? He died. I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we, the Midnight Rangers, would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. Oh, girl. Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my Outrider comrade. Outrider Amber? There, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your <sighs> terminal. All right. Hey, what am I doing? Hang sensor. What are y'all talking about? I don't see. Okay, this game is weird. Something up there for me, anyways. Let me go up there and check it out. <laughs> what are they telling me to do? I'm doing the thing, but it ain't doing it. Oh, I have to do that. No, no, that was credits that I found on the ground. Thank you, buddy. Did I fall damage? Oh, probably. Use the sensor to figure out which path to take. It's not working. Release to toggle. I don't get it. Use a sensor to confirm your patrol route. I I honestly do not get it. No hesitation. It's not working. Oh. Like that. Okay. Nope, that makes a lot more sense now. That makes a lot of sense. What does this do? Training dummy. Hmm. Oh, I see. You hit them all. And then here's the last one. Easy puzzle. Cherish every game. Okay, well, since we have old girl with us, let's go ahead and change the change the squad. Oops, that's the wrong one. The Skylark song is about to sound. Alright, let's see what oh gotta keep moving. 
Is that the beacon? Hmm. Why are there so many people? Hmm. They don't look like soldiers. <laughs> Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the city. Uh, I saw what you was doing. Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! Don't let him run off. Something's fishy about- oh yeah. Definitely. I, I can't move. So hungry. Oh, please don't arrest us! We really had no choice. Interesting looking NPC fodder. Great to look at. What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. Oh, they're the same. Same outfit. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, because we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive-looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. Are there pennies in this world? A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? God, we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. You're giving us all of these? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. What's going on? Are we fighting? Oh, yep. Mm, a tough night. I just helped you. Why did you attack us? You're not feeding us all with your bread and pennies. Hand over your goods and grub, or face the consequences. We, we ain't messing with no kids. Well, you're you lost. <laughs> so you are messing. We're with begging you. Stop. We surrender. Take us in. Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. These are not ordinary people. Yeah, who are you? Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we, just, we just joined the exiles recently. We've done some wrongs. I tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but... <laughs> Dang! Didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back to the city and get locked up. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway. So it turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around. I mean, you don't have those parts anyway. <laughs> So generous. How about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us. Some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. Uh okay. Normally after being betrayed like that, most likely. You know, a normal person wouldn't give them anything. But Proverbs 28, 20, chapter 28, 27 says basically, he that giveth unto the poor shall not lack. 
but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. And basically from what I get from that is just like, you know, never turn your, you know, like, let's see, let's say like you're seeing a person who's really in need. You clearly see them, but you turn your head away from them because you don't want to give them anything regardless if you have it or not. I will say that I have done this before. I actually done this recently a couple of weeks ago where it's just like I knew that there was a person I I was there was, yeah there was a person who clearly needed something and I didn't even bother looking them uh looking their way as I got close. Um reason being, I mean there is no excuse. There is no excuse. Reason being for me like I said, it's not an excuse. The reason being for me was I was already having um, a rough day and I just didn't want to be bothered. Um, but that shouldn't have been that shouldn't have been an excuse. Regardless of what I was going through, I had something that I could have spared and I could have went over and gave yeah, I could have went over and gave them a little something. Um, so, yeah, with me trying to get my uh, trying to uh, get my relationship with God. Right. You know, I have the, you know, granted within this. Within this game, my mor my morals are affecting the video game. I'm going to give them some of our spare supplies, regardless. Because don't forget, guys, you gotta re you for don't forget, guys. We have to forgive seven times, seventy times, and basically that's some in infinite amount of times they attacked us. We forgive them. They need help. We're going to help them. No, wait. What I gave them was more than enough for them to make it to Jinjo. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to survive. Well, hey, she stopped us anyways. What's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you long enough for hmm. you to reach the city. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily at a time like this. If we can't find jobs in the city, we're gonna starve again. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. It's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <sighs> fine, fine. We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to... Wait. Please put that down. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Hmm. Is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah. The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? That, that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reaching it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? Yeah, sure. Why not? Is it like a mini game or something that I got to do? Oh yeah, mini games. Okay, let's see. How does this work? All right, fairly easy. We got a good idea on how these work, so I can't wait to do more. All right, let's see. We got to go over that way. Ooh, new mushrooms. Let's get it. Let's go. Uh, what's this? Oh, is this a new domain? Is this for the level up material? Yep. I'll do that later. I'll do that on my free time. Alright, let's see. I guess we just go this way. I don't know if this is still the... I, I don't know if this is going to be the same video as last time, guys. Or not. But if it isn't... How was how was everyone's day? It's a different day for me at least if this is on the same video. Sound simulation. Oh, okay. Oh, 
you're trying to break it. Please. Swift and resolute. Ha. Ha. I sense your moment of resonance. Ha. Rejuvenating snow. Commence healing. I don't think I need to do that, but hey. Shake the shapeless. Swift and resolute. Cherish every okay. game. Ooh. That's a broad blade. Never mind. Trash. So I don't know what I don't know what this did. Did this open a map for me at all? No? Yes or no? Oh. I don't know how to get the map open. I don't remember how that works. Is that a side quest? Oh no, that's just a library. I thought I saw a side quest pop up at one point, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah, guys, I don't know how to open up. Oh, what's that shining over there? That letting me know something? Well, we'll figure it out. What's this? Oh. You are... Be careful, you feel something. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, buddy, do you not see that thing right there? He's just sitting there. He doesn't care. to help us deal with them use something nearby to help us deal with them like what use the levitate levitator to burn off oh lt to aim Interesting. How do I shoot? It won't let me shoot it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm sitting here using over on the D-pad when it's the X button. I am stupid. So do I know how to do this one? Did I do that? Easy peasy. All right, let's check out the next area. Just got regular hikers and all that. Okay, so this one is a damaged one. Those things. That other one was corrupted. I mean, Master not. Shinsing, are you all right? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. Okay. Well, fortunate enough for you, it's not my first time on a battlefield. I've been doing battles since I was born. In real life. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them 
it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go! Move, move! What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? Hello? You new here? Are you backups too? No. Wait, you don't look like one of us. Because we're not. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. And they are... Showed her Midnight Rangers badge. Excuse me, one moment please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes? yes what, what is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry, um, could you do me a favor? The, wo the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. All right, sure, leave it to us. Thank you. Oh, that autoplay is it's mad delayed. Easy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Things are always like this in the rear. The frontline soldiers focus solely on battle, following orders and striking enemies. But in the rear, personnel must juggle numerous tasks. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for. To ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. All right, the wounded soldiers are here. Let's go check on them. Wait one second. All right, help the wounded. I see a thing up there, so I'm gonna go grab that real quick first. Where's it at? Oh, it's like all the way up there, up there. Can I grab that teleport first or something? Oh, that was pretty dope. I like that. Look at that parkour skills. That's amazing. Okay, this is our unlocking the map thing. I know what they look like now. Excuse me, what's this part then? Oh. Okay, that makes sense. The Wuthering Frontline. Okay, so I just gotta go back and grab those other ones. All right, so where's that one? No, I was looking for something. Why'd I come up here again? Alright, let's help him out. Are you alright? I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. All right, you don't seem okay. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. Oh, 
go find a medic. Alright, you brought the medic over. That was it? Alright, I thought there was more. I turned my head for a quick second, I was like, oh, it's over. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go. Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. All right. Now's not the time to be... Oh, yeah. Now's not the time for bravado. <sighs> That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay where you are. Please hold him still for me. I got you. Sure. Alright, let's talk to this person. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please, take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. Right. So, they are heroes? They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? Alright, let's follow Master Jinshin. I still don't know how to pronounce her name. For dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks. <laughs> I don't need this. I can just run up here. And I don't have the stamina. Well, GG. Okay, fall damage is a thing. I don't have a vibration on my controller for whatever reason. Where am I? Oh, this way. Oh, yeah. Have you confirmed the inventory? What about the spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. You are, deliver this list to Asher. Uh, you're not you, are. Where is she? What do you need? A lot. Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. All right, yeah, you seem very busy. Jinjo is the gateway to Huanlong, and the Desert Rock Highland is the gateway to Jinjo. A single breach could have dire consequences. Our defense must hold at all costs. The tacit discords are not humans. They don't do truces or ceasefires. For as long as they exist, this war will rage on endlessly. Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing. But now we are facing a shortage. All right. 
you need any help? I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. That's fine, bro. Tell him about the person that we're looking for. Ju Yen. So he never sent a letter home. Not even once. The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non resonators lately. <laughs> but Ju Yen was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Now, we sent him back to the city time and time again, and he just kept finding ways to come back. Eventually, I caved and took him in to help us here in the base. With the battle escalating, it's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep him here any longer. I was just thinking about having the logistics team bring him back to the city when you guys showed up. Oh, now I remember. He should be currently on the floor above. All right. Uh, Master Jingxin. Do you want to go look for him? Sure. Please excuse me. I'll huh? join you later. Yep, we'll be there soon. All right, take uh, take out the mango steam. What are you doing? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> please excuse me. Thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? A grenade. It's a type of old-fashioned explosive. Oh, we know what a grenade is. Caused a global technological regression. I was thinking like grenade, as in why would you think it was a grenade? While tacitite weapons were being developed, most people had limited knowledge of tacitite as an energy source. As a result, primitive products combining old and new technology emerged. The hand grenade was one of them. With the rapid growth of tacitite weapons, these crude explosives were eventually phased out in favor of more advanced weaponry. Interesting. Uh, yeah, what do you know about the mangosteen? Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. Oh, but I mean with the recent that. tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumphant return. All right, then. Uh, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Uh, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Hmm. What more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade, and uh, that could cause some issues. All right, well, thank you. Alright, let's go meet up with Master Jinxin, I think. Master Tianxin, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. Alright. I heard Zhu Yun uh, didn't want to Zhu leave. Zhu Yun is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities, and the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. I do share some of Julian's feelings. However, Julian disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the battlefield however small that contribution might be. What did she say? However, Junior disagreed with the uh, intense training and the tests required to join the military. He saw that the distinction between ordinary people and resonators and believed he could contribute on the battlefield. However, mm, 
I mean, not if you're up to par. It's like I think that's kind of like saying like, if you can't get through the training, what makes you what makes you think that you can get through these battles? They would want you to be ready for that. So I can't agree with him on that. I do believe everyone does have a part to play. He's only causing trouble by staying on the battlefield. He could cause trouble for other people because people could just be trying to save him all the time if he's not holding up to the actual battle standard. And he can contribute better without fighting on the front. I think that, yeah. I too found what Jian said was reasonable to an extent. And I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case. And if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted. So you beat him up. <laughs> I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring. And I gained important insights from those fights. Now, who do you think won that fight? Oh, you won. All tangles untied. All glare tempered. All dust smoothed. It is like a deep pool that never dries. How true! I've come to understand this line more. I promise not to use my forte in the battle, but... Julian still couldn't take a single blow from me. After his defeat, Julian seemed to realize his weakness. Talking about confronting the tacit discords on the battlefield would be mere lip service, he said. He was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. Oh, farewell. I know she's a five star that we can choose from later. Us running into Master Tian Xing was a one off incident. If the Mangostine indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Civilizations are born from war and suffer from war. Perhaps she just wants to meet someone. Perhaps the moment hasn't arrived yet. She's giving me a chance to do a cert. You know what? The Magostine incident indicates something about war. Uh, I think it's the first one. Of something, Rover? I, I don't know. I think. Mention the tacit discord outbreak. The Magostine route transportation. So, Madam Magistrate wants to tell us something about the Magazine's route of transportation? No. The Quartermaster said the Magazines are transported by boat from the south. <sighs> we haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. <sighs> I hope they're okay. Food. The stupid kaiju inside my head is talking. Oh. Oh, hey, that's the guy on the banner. General! It's on spawn. Okay, don't know what this has to do with anything. Retreat to advance. Oh, he has a sword. Break. So do these guys not give off the counter thing again? Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Are you down? Who else wants to smoke? All of y'all? Fear no more. I think I missed. Okay, he has one. I just didn't see it. He lost his other two heads. Fear no more. Break. Trying to fight back. Oh, I didn't block that? Or not block that, but fight the time. Gosh. Wind rider. Bro, go away. Stop that. So I wonder, because he has that dragon, right? So I wonder if there's going to be other characters that have the phoenix, the turtle, and the tiger. What's the matter? Are you all right? I may have resonated with the tacit discord. Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed into the that distance. Tenac that tentacled one? You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. Oh, never mind. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. All right, describe the general in Teal. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Tinglong. The Tinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. All right, but I've never met him. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tian was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. Something's not right. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you. Though we have no idea what it is. There's something inside my not saying that, yeah. There's always been a voice. But I didn't hear anything or sense any frequencies. Maybe I can you can what? Rover? What's up? According to Baiji, the leaf showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Oh. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. 
And that is... Teacher Village in the Central Plains. All right. Well, did that one. I'm gonna call it quits for recording that. Well, oh, myself reflect on my goals and plans. Those voices in the streams become clearer, and everything starts to make more sense. Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. Am I trying? I don't know what I'm trying. But yeah, this is where we're gonna... At least I'm gonna stop my recording session today. I don't like to play video games for too long. Um, at least not anymore, I don't. So yeah, I'm taking my time with this. This is a free-to-play game. I'm not in any rush to get to end game or anything like that. I think that's the best way to play these games anyways. Um, if there's a character that I really, really, really want to roll for, then I'll just pay the money. I don't really care. I got a stable job, so... Yep. I will uh, see you guys uh, later. So, thank. Okay, hold on. Well, let's say I go to my resonators menu. I guess we use that. And then, let me see. Does this show me the correct way that I need to go? Probably not. Oh, well, it's showing that stuff. Sure, whatever. I'll look at that later. But yeah, thank you all for watching. And, um, well, I, like I said, I still don't know if this is going to be a separate part or if I'm going to make it all one video. I might just make it all one video. I, don't, I do not know yet, but. We'll find out whenever I upload it. 